Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little special. Uh, we're going to be getting you off of this push button here and getting you onto a key switch. Uh, getting you a little more advanced stuff here, you know, making it a little nicer in your vehicles. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the workbench and let's start this tutorial. All right, first things first, let's get rid of that push button. We don't need it anymore. Let's go in here and get ourselves a key because uh, we're moving up in the world, right? Uh, we're going to stick that right here. Let's, you know what, let's make that this color so it matches. We want this dash to look real nice and, and neat here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a color here. We can uh, paint it red for fun here. Let's do that. Nice, so we know when this thing is on. All right. All right, so the next step we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to make ourselves a microcontroller. So you're gonna to wanna to go up here to the microcontroller editor, click on that, and then we're gonna start ourselves a new one. All right, so here we are in the microcontroller editor. Uh, we're gonna need three inputs on this. So this is gonna be a simple little controller here. We can make this actually a little longer here and shorter this way. Uh, let's go over to, let's name it. We're gonna call this E starter. Copy that, put that down in our description as well. Just makes it easier to find. Let's come over here into our logic. We need three nodes here. One, two, three. The first one's gonna be our key input. This is where our key goes, this is what it hooks up to. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, an output and this goes to our engine. Uh, so when the key turns on, it goes to the engine, turns the engine on. And our last one, uh, we're gonna call this one valve and it'll explain this in a little bit. And this also needs to be an output. Uh, so all this will make sense very shortly. All right, so now that we've got that, let's um, make a key here. Uh, let's make a key. Get a key, key, sure, that's a key, right? That looks like a key. Um, over to the logic, we'll move valve over there. We got engine here and we got our key here. So first things first, let's go ahead and let's hook up uh, the key to the engine and let's just see what that does. Uh, so we're just going to name it here. We'll call it YouTube Key Starter. Jump back over here. Uh, we've got our microcontroller down here. Let's go ahead and hook this guy up here. So we had key. Uh, first thing, let's see, key into here and then this into our engine. Let's test that out and see what that does. All right, it's not going to do anything unless you give it power. Uh, so let's give this some power. Oh, I always forget to do that. I always forget to do that. All right, try that again. Look this up. Whoa. Getting a little excited there. Jumping past things. All right. It is cranking. Give it some a little bit of throttle. And the engine is actually running. But the problem is, is it's still, it's still trying to start. It's still act, trying to activate that starter. So we're going to need to do something to change that. But as you can hear, the engine is running. And there's the other problem. When we cut the key off, the engine still runs. So let's go fix that. All right, so we're just going to jump back into our microcontroller here. Uh, and now we're going to need to do something that kind of lets us turn the key for a little bit, but then we'll turn the key off, but it still will show activated. So we're going to need to get a timer, and we're going to need an RTF timer here. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect our timer into our engine. Uh, that disconnects it there. And then our key is going to need to come down into here and into here, and let's grab ourselves a constant number. Uh, let's put that into here. Uh, let's say we do it for, it needs maybe half a second of power to start this engine, and then we'll be done there. Uh, the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up into our valve connection here, our key to our valve, and then we'll explain that in just a second. Uh, other than that, this should be good. Let's update that and see. Let's spawn this. Let's come over here. Let's not jump past it again. A little bit of throttle. All right, and it's still doing it. All right, so we can fix that. We can fix that. Uh, let's come over here again. Let's try adding one little thing here. We're gonna put a not block in here. So basically we're gonna do the reverse of this. So when this key is not on, this will change. All right, so let's update that, confirm that on that give it a little bit of throttle all right so you heard it for half a second it gave it power and it was enough to cut this engine on 
Uh, the key is still on, but we're not running our starter anymore. So that is good. Uh, let's see. Engine still runs when we cut the key off. So now let's fix that. Do you remember we said uh, we have a valve connection here? So let's go spell valve the right way. Valve. Uh, here we go. Fluid on off valve. Uh, let's go ahead and do yellow since we're going to put it here, right here on our air. And the best place to put this is as close to the engine as possible because the pipes still hold air. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get it here on this elbow because it would work quicker, but that's that's all we really need. Uh, we're going to hook up power. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to grab this valve here. Uh, so what we're actually doing is when this key is turned on, it is actually going to send a signal here and it's going to open up the valve for the air. Uh, when we cut our key off, it's going to send the signal back to turn this valve off, which is then just going to snuff out our engine, choke the air off, and then we'll kill the engine for you. Uh, and there you go. And, if, you know, it might take a second or two depending on how far back you got it, but let's try this out. Let's see, give it some throttle. Engine is on and running. Let's kill it. And now our engine has died. Uh, it took a little bit of time, but once that air was cut off, and there you go. I mean, it really didn't take too much time at all. Maybe a second and a half. Uh, so let's try that again. Engine on. We're cranking away. And engine off. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a second or two, but it's not that long. So it's actually quite a little easy little trick that you can do to uh, get yourselves working with these little key buttons here. All right, so now that I've shown you this way, we're going to completely change everything, and we're going to show you another way. So let's come in here. We're going to delete all these nodes in here because we don't need them. Uh, we're going to keep this connection here. Uh, we're going to delete our connection to our valve. Uh, we're going to come back over to our logic. Uh, we're going to call valve is now going to be called throttle down. And nothing else really has to change here. Uh, so back into the logic, here we go. Uh, so like before, if we took our key straight into our engine, it wouldn't work, it would just run, but that starter would continue to go. So we need to have a way to cut that starter on and off. Uh, so this, this time we're gonna grab a capacitor. We're gonna hook up into our capacitor. Um, charge time, think same thing, we'll do about a half second. Kinda like we did on our timer, uh, so it's, Pretty much doing the exact same thing here. Uh, so we're also gonna need a not gate. And then, uh, let's see, uh, we need an and gate here. Not an add, an and. And we'll put that in here. Uh, so let's go from our key to the and gate and then the not gate here. So what this allows us to do is turn on that key for maybe a half a second. And as long as that's turned on and it's the key is on itself, uh, the engine will turn over. What we're also gonna need is we're gonna also need another not gate. Uh, so we can paste this here so that we can say that when the key is not turned on, this throttle can then go down. And that should be all we need for that. So now let's uh, let's update that. Let's come back up in here. Uh, the only thing we've got to change here is our throttle down comes to here instead of our uh, valve control. But honestly, what you could do is you could leave this here. Uh, so you could be turning off this valve and turning the throttle down for this. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's just unplug this so we can see that the throttle down actually does kill the engine. Uh, and then you could come back in here and you could have this as a Kind of a double thing so your throttle would always be down so that next time you do turn your engine back over it's not wide open all right i'm gonna double check here everything has power i always forget uh let's spawn that in come over here and test this out let's give it a little bit of throttle here okay are we getting throttle yep turn that engine on okay so that was, I figured out what was causing this problem while I couldn't get this started. Um, this, this valve is not getting turned on. So for the sake of this, let's just uh, go back to how it was. Uh, let's try that now. Uh, so it just wasn't getting any air. <laughs> so let's see if I was right about that. Let's crank it. Yep, there we go. We have engine. Engine's running. Perfect. Let's kill it. Throttle goes down. Engine is dead. There you go, guys. A couple ways to turn your engine on and off. So, guys, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all it takes to make this little key starter and to start using key buttons and to get them to work like you would 
think they should work in real life, you know? So there you go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like this video. It does help us out a lot over, over here. And yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Thank you.